first thing we are going to do is set up the some uh, objects or some variables that we can use from from the, the, the draw loop. So we are gonna do that now. Let's insert. Oops, I should be in the append, but never mind. And let me just do that, and then I'll return. So here are the first variables that I'm that I have inserted or made, and um, it is just we're gonna make a bouncing ball. So we're going to it's actually basically the same as in the other demo. So in the shapes demo. So here we have a V-cycle ball, then two balls, booleans that is down and left, and depending if they are on and off, then it will move right or left or it word up and down, and then we get a ball X and Y, and then we need one more thing. Uh, this last thing here called ball offset is actually quite interesting and uh, I will explain that uh, when we look at the ball so I can actually set it to its uh, value so let's do that right now Let's now energize these so we can get on with the main loop. So here we have the ball object, or the, the all the objects constructed or energized. So here we have the ball x and y, and then we got the uh, if it's moving left, I mean if it's move, oops, that should that is wrong. Uh, that should be down, down. So, and um, yep, down. So now we're going to go into the main loop that is called the draw, the draw loop. So let's do that. are the next variables, the next things that I have done. So in here you see if uh, it's moving down the x is increasing and if it's moving uh, up or not down it's decreasing. So uh, it's fairly self-explanatory and if it's moving left moving that way so it y becomes less and if it's moving that way y becomes greater. So and now we have to draw everything, so let's do that too. So here we go. Here we have. Here we're going to put uh, the drawing of the ball. see here we are drawing a ball with the this dot screen which is uh, a public member of the p main uh, class that is this uh, the screen that you're going to paint to and uh, this dot get the color uh, gets the color the current color and we're going to talk about that in a little while and then null as i talked in the last videos is if it's going to be um, it's going to be filled or not. So let's have a look at that. Okay, here we get a syntax error uh, problem. So we're going to have a look at that. 
private oh yes we have uh, no semicolon there so let's do that and then make again oops make and we have a er, an oh color or color color okay make and there we go so let's make do a make run and we have a ball that isn't moving hmm let's have a look at that open and okay it should be moving but it isn't so I'll have to take a look at that and return in a little while oh yes now, now I remember I am actually not updating the position of the ball so uh, let's have a look at that now shall we we have to use the uh, set function so let's see uh, one moment As you can see, now it moves, but it doesn't bounce. So let's get a look at that. Now I have finished the uh, logic for for the movement of the balls, and uh, I change the placement of of them because I made an error, but uh, that should be fixed now. So as you can see, it's very simple math and just checks position of the ball if it's inside the bounding box or not or the screen or not and it changes the if it's uh, moving the movement direction and all of that so let's have a look at uh, the uh, the programmer is running as you can see it's not a bouncing ball, it's more of a bouncing line and that's not what we wanted. So to fix that we have to do run one more function. So let's close that, return and then we go up here and we append here and let's see here should be this dot uh, clear I think clear oops writing with one hand and save and then escape make test there we go bouncing ball. You can see it's bouncing really predict predictively and nothing interesting is happening. So I think I'm done with this screencast but I could show you one more thing as I can do that. So as you can see here we have the draw, the drawing of the ball, it takes a color, and a color is uh, is given by this function. And you can set a color by by doing a uh, oops, and it's actually this this dot uh, set uh, color, I think.
Yes. The set a color with uh, the function that I ran before. So, as you can see, the red ball, and uh, it uh, this dot set color dot uh, is uh, and then we say RGBA value. So it's two five five dot o dot o no uh, two five five comma o comma o comma two five five. This uh, is red, green, and blue, and alpha values. So, and uh, you should know that if you are going how that works. And um, uh, yeah, and then you use the get color to get the color in. So you can do many objects that use the same color. Yep, that is actually it for me. And um, well, uh, one more thing about uh, set color. Set color doesn't take integers; it takes uh, unsigned chars. So it's uh, characters, unsigned characters. So if you take an take a, a int value, you have to cast it to a u char. That's just a pointer, so you know how it works. And that's it for me today. Goodbye.